Oh, the weather outside is frightful But the fire is so delightful And since we've no place to go The word of the week snow, is kindness Kindness is consideration and willingness to help others I think everyone knows what kindness is Well, there are a lot of people who don't act like they know what it means Hmm, you're kind of right Hey, kindness is being considerate and helping others Yeah, so now that you know it, live it Please send the names of students and staff that you would like to recognize for their kindness to Jessica Zipperer. Or, if you see anybody living the hashtag Patriot Way, send their names to Ms. Zipperer as well. Speaking of kindness, what would you say is the opposite of being kind? I don't know, um, being mean? Yep, and what is mean and a big problem in our society, and even here at Freedom Middle School? I know exactly what you're talking about. And to hear more, let's go to our reporter live in the 200 hallway. Thank you, DJ Joe Holly. Merry Christmas! Here at Freedom Middle School, we have a widespread of epidemic. Is it lack of Christmas spirit? No, this is a serious problem. So we have enough of Christmas spirit? No matter how much we try, it just doesn't seem to go away. I think it's happening right now. Rawr. You do my homework. No, 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 no. Give me your lunch money, idiot. like prehistoric dinosaurs. I hope karma hits that bully. You know what happened to dinosaurs. They went extinct. Sometimes you just have to stand up to those bullies. If you see somebody getting bullied, stand up with them! When we stand together, we're more powerful than any bully. We've had enough. It's time to stop. Go away. Yeah! yeah. how much smaller that bully seemed when they all joined together and stood up to him? I sure did. Maybe that is a secret. Standing up to bullies takes away some of their power. Why should people give in to bullies? Why do we have to let them hurt us and harass us physically and emotionally? Is it because we're not normal? What makes us different from the rest of them? What is normal? According to recent studies, 20% of kids have been bullied, while there are over 10% of these kids believe the only way to get away from the harassment is to change schools and start all over again. But why should these kids be the ones changing when bullies roam free all over the place? And the harassment does not change when you step off the bus and go home. That's right. Cyberbullying is way too common. It's happening on many social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, also Snapchat, and so many other sites experience this. Teens hide behind a computer screen, feeling they can do whatever they want and say whatever they want, and no one will be able to catch them. 42% of teens have been cyberbullied. 80% have said they've seen it happen. I've seen it. I've seen how much it hurts. Right now, I know many of you have experienced some type of bullying or cyberbullying. Have any of you had thoughts or remember a time in your life that you didn't think you were good enough or even thought bad things about yourself? We've all been guilty of being mean, so we all need to look in the mirror. Just think about it. Telling someone they're fat does not make you any skinnier. Telling someone they're stupid or dumb does not make you any smarter. And telling someone to die definitely doesn't make you any better than them. It takes one second to say these things, but a lifetime for them to get over it. 
We need to start standing up to those who think they can walk all over you and do whatever they want to you. We are human beings just like them. Your religious beliefs don't matter, and either does our political beliefs. Your skin color doesn't matter, nor how much money we have. We're all different, special in our own way, and that is okay. That is what makes us interesting, and that is what makes life truly interesting. Okay, we are tackling a pretty hot topic, and you know what, no matter what we say or try to teach, like as administration and teachers, we all try to think of ways to, to really, you know, get rid of this problem, but it just does not seem to make a difference. Bullies just never seem to go away. First, we all need to realize, we all have the potential to be a bully, and we have to look in the mirror and think about times we've said mean things to others. Ooh, that's good. That's good, because we all have said something mean. We have to own that. And the thing is that when we got together, as the, all the students in Video and Drama Club, like they all really think that one way to really help with this epidemic of bullying is to actually stand up to the bully. And if you see it, stand up with the victim. And, just so we are all clear, we are not condoning violence or revenge. But do not just ignore them. Tell them to stop. And if you see it, stand up with those being bullied. Yes, we still need to abide by all the school policies. So no violence, no revenge, all those kind of things. First, go to a counselor or a teacher or administrator. If it continues, keep going to them. Yes, never stop reporting it because it will help eventually, I promise, I promise. So tell me, I will definitely help you, all right? We all have a teacher or administrator that we know we can connect with and we can go to them and, and be honest and we can find a way to help. But hey, biggest thing, stand up with those being bullied. Group together. <laughs>